Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is day 24th of February. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. It's near the end. There's only like a couple left. I can't do math, so I don't know. But score parentheses is today's farm. Know that I do Southeast Live, so, you know, if it's a little bit slow, just fast forward. Okay. Given a bounce as complete a score of the string based on the following rule. You have a thing. Okay. It's one. A, B has A plus one. One has a two. I'm saying. Okay. Oh, a, I thought A is actually, um, A is actually, uh, what you might call it, uh, like a number or something. And I look at this, I, I guess A is just, they don't make it clear. Oh, I guess they, I just have to read ahead. I can't read today. It's 3 a.m. when I do these. So that's my excuse and I'm sticking to it. But okay. Uh, I mean, this is just a stack operation. This is, I wouldn't say this is simple um, because if you haven't practiced this or do done these type of problems, uh, it could be a little bit annoying, but I would say it is probably expected on an interview. So definitely uh, make sure that you're able to solve this from scratch. Um, but yeah, they say you just put everything on the stack and then that's pretty much it. Um, but of course, that's the algorithm. And, and basically, you know, you just want, and is this, is everything a balance? Okay, it is balanced to begin with. So you don't have to worry about, um, you know, like, and invalid parentheses or uh, whatever. Um, but yeah, but you just put in a stack to kind of keep track of things. Every time you close a number, um, no, you just have to figure out the, the, uh, how to convert these operations to, to, to the thing as you uh, parse it. So let's do that. Let's say we have a stack for character in S. So what happens, right? Mm, if C is equal to, let's say, open paren. What does that mean? Uh, well, let, we can push it to the stack. Um, yeah, we should push it to the stack. I think there's a couple of things that we can do as well. Let's see. It's a little bit annoying. I mean, there are a couple of ways to do it. And so I would also say that the way that I'm going to do it, it might not be the way that makes sense to you, but I'm. I'm trying to figure out whether I should keep the score on the thing as well, or yeah, because basically, what you want to do is when you pop, uh, when you get the right parents, you want to collapse them, right? Um, and uh, this is very odd. Oh, I guess I have this here. That's why I paste it. Um, when you collapse them, then you have two numbers each to each other. If you have two numbers next to each other, you just also um, combine them. And if yeah, and I think that's should be good enough. Yeah, okay. Let, let's do something like that. Uh, so, a parent, so then that means that, okay. Uh, now, we could push, uh, push, a, push, push the open parent on it, and then continue. Uh, if this is a close parent. That's when we're going to do all the magic. So let's think about the cases. Um, so, okay. So the cases that we're going to to. We're going to compress all the numbers. So until we go get to one to the left, and then we're going to um, sum all the numbers that are inside and then multiply everything by, and then multiply by two. So we're going to do that. So while, uh, let's see, I don't, well, like, I mean, this should always be true, but, and stack of negative one is int. How do I check if something is int? It's numeric. But I think that's only if this is a string. So I have to can try the string. So this is a little bit yucky, um, but, well, maybe we can just uh, do something like uh, the top of the stack is not, uh, the left parent, right? While this, then we pop, we pop off numbers. Okay, uh, I think we have to, I think this is a special base case, so we have to do that. I was thinking about whether I can kind of roll it in together, but I guess not. So if again, this is going should be true, but I just wanted to. Uh, then we just pop it off. We append 
the number one for the base case, and then we continue. Otherwise, we're going to keep on popping off numbers, summing them. So let's do that. Total is equal to zero. Total to do stack that part. And then now when we get the the right parents, then now we can multiply everything by two, right? Uh, make sure that we pop and um, fill in the title. Um, and I think at the very end, we just have to uh, return the sum of the stack. I think that should be good. Hmm. But that, you know, let, let's give it some test cases, of course. That looks good. I'm still not that confident with these things in general because I feel like it's very easy to make a typo. But let me just do a couple more. Do, do. I think it's like fishy or something. I don't know. <laughs> but uh, okay, I guess that looks okay. Let's give it a summary. Cool. Uh, yeah, so what is the complexity? Well, we push everything to the stack at, at, at most once, and then we we pop fit every time, right? So, uh, and we're only going to pop everything at most once. So, yeah, so yeah, if you look at this loop, right, we only append once, and then, you know, this gets continued, or something gets popped. So each item on the stack, uh, on the string, we we'll either push or pop one, so this is going to be linear time. Uh, and stack is also going to be linear space because it may just go through like half the string with just like open parens, right? So that's basically um, the idea. And technically, I, I think this is the part that I got a little bit lazy on, to be honest. So, so the, what, what happens is that at the very end, you have all the, you know, you have something like, like this that's going to leave, you know, um, on the stack one one one, so then you just sum it all up. I think the, the more clear way to do it is you know you st set another total while length stack greater than zero and uh, total do, 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 and then just return total. That's basically what, what you should do if you want to be programmatic. I mean obviously this is going to be the same and except for that this technically you know goes from the bottom or the top down. Uh, from the b back of the stack, but we do it this way so that um, you know it, it's more uh, with the same API that the stack would have. So yeah, linear time, linear space. Uh, as I said, you should probably be familiar with this problem. So let me know what you think, um, and I will see you later. Huh? Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. I hope you know stay healthy, good mental health, and I will see you next time. Bye bye.